Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes, I okay. can. Right. Okay, again, uh, what I mentioned is now, when you solve this one, you will get number one. So whatever, when you, whatever number that, when you times with number one, you will get the same number. So since we are calculating price elasticity, we will not require it to put negative. So put your final answer as your positive value, this one. And then remember, question number one here, it, it asks you to state whether it is elastic or in, in elastic. So you have to refer back to my uh, short note just now. This is like E equals to 0 0.08. Right, so if your E or your elasticity is 0 0.08, go look back at our short note, price elasticity, what is the degree? If the E is at 0 0.08, means the elasticity is less than one, right? Am I correct? 0 0.08 is less yes, than yes. one. So your degree is inelastic. Okay, what you should put, as your final answer is like this. This would this would mean that for every one percent, this is number one change in price. Quantity demand would change by zero point zero eight percent. Okay, therefore, goods X is inelastic. We already identified the degree. Because why it's inelastic? Because the ED is less than number one. Okay. So this is should be your final answer if the question asks you to make the state elastic or inelastic. Okay. 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 You want to maybe screenshot this one or are you trying to jot down the answer? Can I move on? Yes, I already screenshot. Mm, all right. So that one is uh, number one. And then let's take a look at question number two, two I. So cross... Eh, sorry, calculate the cross elasticity of demand of goods Y when price of X falls from 20 ringgit to 10 ringgit. Indicate the relationship between X and Y. So, meaning you have to calculate first your cross elasticity of goods Y, means you have to follow the quantity demand for this table only. And then, um, you have to, to indicate what is the relationship between goods X and good Y. Okay, so first thing first, take out the important information, the P1, P2 all. So your P1 is 20 ringgit, right? Your P2, your new price, it falls from 20 ringgit to 10 ringgit. Okay, your Q1 is your quantity demanded of good y you don't you don't uh, simply put your quantity of good x you have to you have to look at the equation read carefully they need the quantity demanded for good y so the quantity should be your good y lah. okay so when the price is at 20 ringgit your quantity demanded of good y is at 260. Yeah, 60. So for your new quantity, when the price is at 10 ringgit, which is here, so your, yeah, your quantity is 220. 
So remember, this is your quantity demanded for product Y only. Don't, don't simply take your product X quantity. Okay, because this one is your cross elasticity demand. So your formula for cross elasticity demand is like this. Right? So your QX2 is your QY2. Okay, just take the same formula. Like I mentioned, we use the same formula for uh, every of the elasticity. So your cross elasticity, we put as EC, right? Q2 minus Q1 over Q1 times P1. The same formula like I mentioned. Use the same formula, but the difference is just the quantity that you take okay, from the equation. So place the number in the formula. Your Q2 is 220 minus Q260, 260 times P1 is your 20, and then 10 minus 20, right? And then now calculate your uh, answer. 220 minus 260 over 260, you will get negative. Oh, what the answer? 154. Okay, this one is a little bit different from the previous question. I have to, I have to teach you one by one. Okay, they give you uh, the, the final answer, once you click calculator, click your calculator, you will get negative 0 0.153846, something, right? So, but you see, like I mentioned, you just take your two decimal place, okay? Your two decimal place is at 0 0.15. But this one, in this case, you cannot add one to this five. Because of why? The the the, uh, uh, the besides number of number five is it's less three. than five. Uh, less than five. So you cannot add one to your five. Okay. Yeah. It's either okay. you want it's either you want to just leave your answer like this, also can take two decimal places, or you want to take three decimal places, which is you plus number one to this three. It's also can. It's either one. But I uh, let's standardize everything. Just take two decimal places. Okay. So it's easier. Okay. Then times with this one, 20 over 10 minus 20, you will get what? negative two, right? Two. Uh, yeah. So uh, solve this one for me. You will get. 0 0.308. 0 0.308. Okay, you see? Yeah. 308. Like I mentioned you have to take right. two decimal places. Okay. Okay, so this one is more than one, right? Eight, sorry, more than five, right? Eight five. is more than five. 0 0.031. Uh, so you have to add this one, number one, to this zero. Add one to this zero. So your final answer is 0 0.3. One. Okay. Okay, so this is your uh, cross elasticity answer. But then they ask you to indicate the relationship between x, y, eh, sorry, between product x and product y. So how you are going to know the relationship? Look back at the degrees. Okay, look at back at our short note just now. This means E equals to 0 0.31. So if E equal to 0 0.31, look back at your degree or cross elasticity, right? You are now calculating cross elasticity. Look at the degree. 0 0.31 is positive value, right? So if it's positive, meaning the relationship between X and Y is substitute good. Substitute. So that's why I mentioned, I, I asked you to jot down maybe the short note. So it's a formula for you. So what you need to do, the final answer, you have to put or you have to write the cross 
elasticity for this good x and y is 0 0.31 therefore the relationship you cannot just state the the relationship but you have to do like some of explanation on it like this lah two goods are substitute good okay because the cross elasticity is positive then okay then screenshot it okay so can i move yeah okay. yes can move to question number three okay. now this question number three they ask you if you assume that when consumer income increase it's about income okay increase from 1 to 1000 to 1700 okay. the demand for good y increase from 220 to 260 calculate the income elasticity of demand y what types of goods is y so you have to calculate the cross I'm sorry, the income elasticity, and then you have to identify what types of good Y is. Okay, but because of this table, only give you the price and the quantity demanded. Okay, they didn't give you the uh, income, the consumer income, right? So they strictly give you in the question. So you don't have to look at the table already. Um, don't have to look at the table. Lah. So you know already, your income is increasing. So I put I1, the original income, which is at 2,200. 1, 1, 200. 1, 200, sorry. And your income, new income is 1,700. Okay. The quantity demanded of good Y is also increasing from 220 to 260 units okay because of this income is in in the form of ringgit Malaysia right so we assume that this income is your price so let me put it this way this is also your price one okay so like mentioned we use the same formula for everything so for this one, uh, income, right? Elasticity of income. So we put I, P, I. The formula is the same formula. Times P1 over P2 minus P1. Okay, place the number. The formula, your Q2 is 260. Minus 220 over 220. Times your price is your income okay because this is related to your income so income is in a form of rm so we assume it is uh, your price so your p1 is 1200 over 1700 minus 1200 okay so once you solve this one for me the quantity you will get what zero point one eight. Yeah, one eight. Okay. If you got like uh other numbers behind that, remember round it off to two decimal places. All right. Times we two point four. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Now solve this one for me. You will get zero point four three. Correct. Means this is, is your e i. So, Madam, ah, please, what? I'm still confused about this uh, 
Okay. And I, I I just like to know okay. how you get the answer, not just for me to be listening to the class. Now, this 260, I'm using my own calculator here. 260, is it not 260 minus 220? 250? Yes. Are you 1,200 to get 20 or how do you count? 0.18. How how do you calculate it, please? Oh, how I get 0 0.43 or how how I get 2.4? first. How you get 2.18 first? 2.4. Oh, okay. Hold on. You just have to solve this one formula. Uh, what your name just now, Victor? Or... I follow the formula. Yes. Huh. 260 then... minus 220. I said this is the way I calculate on my calculator. 260 okay. minus 220. 260 minus 220 multiplied by 1,200. Hey, what no, you no, you the, the, why am I looking? Multiplied uh, by 220. You divided to your wrong number. number. Okay. Hmm. 260. Minus, minus 200 to... Uh, Divide by 220. Divide by 220, you ah. get um, you bring down 0. Your 0. 0.18. Mm. Okay, 260 mm. divided by 220. Yep. You wrongly divided the number. Okay. Then if, if 260 divided by 220, it gives me here 1.18. Mm. Mm. 1.18? 260 minus Zero. 220 divided ah. by 220. 0. 0.18. Ah. 260 minus, 260 minus, minus 220, 220. 220. Ah. divided by 220. By 220. Okay. Yes. Ah. Get it? Do we get 0. 0.18? Mm. Get or not? No, ma'am. Huh? You will get 0. 0.181818. Right. 260 minus 220 divided by 220. Yeah, yeah. I'm having 250. <laughs> You're having what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to calculate <laughs> But he's right now because, because hello, if you mind, if uh, 260. Uh, minus 220. How many you get? Uh -huh. And you divide it by 220. You cannot get 0. 0.1. 260. Divided by 220. Divided by 220. Ah. Uh-huh. 40 divided by 1. Equals to. You press equals to first before you divide by 220. Okay. If yeah, you do yeah, it okay. as straight, it will give you wrong yeah, answer. Yeah. This is how you get the calculator. Okay, nice. okay, now I get what you are saying. Scientific calculator. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, I get it now. All right. Okay, okay so Thank we you. can move on. All right. So yes. once you have solved all of that, the final answer is 0 0.43. So the same thing you have to identify because they ask you what type of the good Y is. So how you are going to identify identify this good? Look back at the short note when E is equals 0 0.43. Okay, look at the question. Uh, no, the, the, the formula that I gave it to you, this one about income, right? So this income elasticity, look at the degree, we get a positive In uh, answer. So the when the answer is in positive, it means good Y is normal good. Okay, don't look at this uh, degree. You don't look at the wrong degrees. Now we calculate income elasticity. So income elasticity degree is this one. Look at the arrow, this one, this one only. So our answer is in positive value, we get positive value. So they ask you what types of good Y is. So because we get positive, so the good is normal good. Okay. Mm. So what is your answer? You should put it like this or your final answer. The income PCT or Y is 0 0.43 since the income 
elasticity oh, yeah. is positive. Okay, positive, right? So the good y. Would be in separate. Oh, sorry. Wait. Interpret as normal goods. Done. This is how you answer your uh, chapter four question. Only want to read this Right. Screenshot. Uh, the answer or maybe jot down anywhere. Or oh, you want um you want a soft copy of my answer? Yes. One. Huh? One. Yeah, I think that would be better. Yeah. Okay. Because this one also can be safe. This notes can be safe, so I will also provide you this one. Maybe not in the Google Classroom. I will just post it in the WhatsApp group and also WeChat. Okay, okay, but you have to zoom it because this one uh, is like a long note in terms of uh, PNG form. So you have to zoom to look at the answer. Okay, so then that's all for tutorial uh, for today. Okay. Thank you. So that's all. So uh, you can go and review back my video. So that is the end of the class. Let's take our attendance. Don't have any question here? Yeah?